right, Shalom, Shalom, Yasharala, first and foremost, Kohalayam La, Awa Nawa, Yahawa, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakradash, double honors to our elders and elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akium out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners, and a strong shalom to the aqua sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. Okay, this is your brother, a moth, your eyes from Yahawada, a moth, your eyes from Yahawada, coming at y'all with another beautiful lesson. Okay, if you study to show yourself approved, man, you know that when Yahawasha was on the scene, it was about the elect, man. Okay, even before Yahweh was on the scene, when we was brought out, brought out of captivity in Egypt, you know, all Israel didn't go into the promised land, man. It was only a, a, an election that went into the promised land, man. Okay, if you can receive it, you can receive it. If you can't, oh well. Pray fast and ask the Most High, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, for you to receive that, man. Okay, and so now with us uh, in this last captivity, uh, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots, it's about the elect again, man. Okay, so you, you see those patterns, man? Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai is not saving all Israel, man. Okay? Uh, uh, Two-thirds of our people have to uh, receive punishment for their iniquities, man. Okay? So us brothers out here, us uh, true, sincere Akim out here, you know, which is the hopeful elect, out here putting in this work, uh, 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 warning Israel, feeding Israel, edifying Israel, okay, through the 144% uh, truth of the doctrine that was given to us by Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai through the Spirit and furthermore through our teachers that He set up, okay, which is the elder apostles and the elders on down of GMS. If you can receive it, you can receive it. If you can't, I don't give a shit, okay. We are not here to be your friends. We are not here to uh, to to have picnics with you, barbecues, dance battles, etc., rap battles, all that nonsense. We are here to speak our father's words and our big brother words, Yahweh by Yahweh Shai, man. So I'm gonna bring out a few precepts, a few scriptures on the elect, man, because that's what it's about, man. It's about the elect, man. We are attempting to 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 uh, uh, suffer all affliction for the elect's sake, man. Okay. So let's go ahead and get to these scriptures, man. Let's, let's start off in uh, John. Let's go to St. John. St. John chapter 3, verse 16, and it reads this. He that believeth on him is not condemned. Salakia, Salakia, forgive. St. John chapter 3, verse 16. For the Most High so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth, believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life, man. For the Most High so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth on in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Now, when you go into the blue letter and you go to that word world, that word world is cosmos, okay? So that, that means many worlds. And this is referring to the world of Israel, okay? Point blank period, man. Brothers have done plenty of lessons of breaking down John 3.16. And, and to be honest with you, that's light work. That's very, very basic light work. But let's keep on going. Let's go to uh let's go to 2nd Maccabees. Let's 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 go to the apocrypha and make a point. Cause when you when when our when, when our forefathers prayed, they prayed for the elect, man. So I'm gonna get a prayer for you right now. This is 2nd Maccabees. 2nd Maccabees, chapter 1. And I'm going to start off at verse 24, and the point is going to be in verse 26. And the prayer was after this manner, O Lord, Yahweh power, creator of all things, who art fearful and strong and righteous and merciful and the only and gracious king, the only giver of all things, the only just almighty and everlasting, thou that deliverest Israel from all trouble. And didst choose the fathers and sanctify them. Here's the point, verse 26. Receive the sacrifice for thy whole people, Israel. Receive the sacrifice for thy whole people, Israel. So at the end, all Israel is going to be saved, man. But it's about that election, 
Let me read 26 again. Receive the sacrifice for the whole people Israel and preserve thine own portion. And what is that own portion? That remnant, that one third remnant and reserve thine own portion and sanctify it. So it's about the elect, man. So for you, for you simple niggards, you niggas that don't understand anything about the scriptures, don't understand the rape doctrine, the prostitution doctrine, you know why? Because you were called, but you wasn't chosen, chosen, man. And we're not saying that we're chosen. That's what we call ourselves the hopeful elect, man. But we also, when we, when we came into this truth, into, this, into our heritage, into this walk, we did Ephesians chapter 4. Okay, we purging off that old man. Everything that we learned in this world was a lie. Okay, it was a lie. Everything. So when you come back to these scriptures, when you come back to these scriptures, when you come back to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, this is the truth, man. It's, it's, it's sweet and it's bitter. Okay, you have to digest all that, man, and put it together, man. Okay? Your own vain opinion is leading you to destruction, man. You weak Israelites, you sips, you niggas, you soft, effeminate uh, uh, punks, man. Y'all going to be destroyed, man. Y'all going to be destroyed, man. So let's let's jump back to John. Let's go to John. Let's jump back to John because we made the point in, uh, in 2 Maccabees. Let's jump back to John. All right, this is John chapter 17. And we're going to read verses 9 to 10. And it reads this. I pray for them. I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me. For they are thine, and all mine are thine, and thine are mine. And I am glorified in them, man. So what's about the elect, man? So the elect is going to understand all the doctrine. It's going to understand the sweet and the bitter, the happy and the sad. Okay? Point blank period, man. The, 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 that remnant that comes back to Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shah, that's purifying themselves every day. Ephesians chapter 4, uh, starting off at verse 21, I want to say. This, this leaving that old man is going to understand this, man. But let's keep on going. Let's go to Isaiah. Because it's all about the elect, man. It's not about you, uh, you simple uh, uh, niggas, man. That want to that wanna go against the men that Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shah set up. And furthermore, uh, uh, build your, uh, your foundation on another man's, man. All right, this is Isaiah chapter 42, verse 1. Behold, my servant, whom I, whom I uphold, mine elect, in whom my soul delighteth, I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. And that's what the true, sincere Akim do, man. The true, hopeful elect. We out here bringing judgment upon upon these Gentiles, man. We out here reading them their arrest warrant, man. Okay? And we're out here uh, 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 edifying the hopeful elect, man. We ain't out here worried about all Israel, man. Okay? We're not worried about all Israel, man. Because two-thirds of our people hate Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. Point blank period, man. Two-thirds of our own people want to do things their way. Okay? Just like that song, Usher, My Way. That's how they think, man. Okay? Point blank period, man. And this and this is this this is how you know, you know what I ain't, let's let, let's just let the Bible talk. Let's let the Bible talk. Let's go to Ephesians, Ephesians chapter one. We're gonna read verses three to thirteen. Ephesians chapter one, verses three to thirteen. Blessed be the Most High and Father of our Lord Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Hamashiach, according as He have chosen us. In him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestinated us unto the adoption of the children by Yahweh Shah Hamashiach to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he hath made us to slack it, wherein he hath made us accepted in the beloved, in whom we have redemption through his blood and forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace wherein <coughs> wherein he hath abounded towards us in all wisdom and prudence having made known unto us the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure 
which he had purpose in himself that in the dispensation that in the dispensation of the fullness of times he might gather together in one all things in Hamashiach both which are in heaven and which are on earth even in him in whom also have so like you, in whom also we have obtained an inheritance being predestinated according to according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will that we should be to the praise of his glory who first trusted in Hamashiach in whom ye also trusted after that ye heard the word of truth the gospel of your salvation in whom also after that ye believed ye were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise man okay so it's about the elect that predestinated chosen lot before he created the earth man before he created the world man that's what it's about it's not about all Israel being saved right now man okay it's only gonna be a remnant that's gonna be saved right now then every other Israelite's gonna come back as, as the uh, beloved elder uh, Malcolm has said, you're going to be a nutsack Israelite, man. So we, we are out here searching for the hopeful elect, man. That remnant. Okay? And a lot of you niggas ain't going to get it, man. A lot of you niggas are offended by Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So you really need to watch what you be saying, man. Because you, you're going to be condemned about the things that you bring out your mouth, man. Just like it says, man, it's not what goes in a man's mouth. It's what comes out that defiles him. Okay? Roughly paraphrasing what Yahweh Shai said. So let's keep on going. Let's go to Wisdom of Solomon chapter 3. Because it's about the elect, man. And we're just going straight to the points, Israel. We're going straight to the points. All right, this is Wisdom of Solomon chapter 3, verse 9. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. For grace and mercy is to his saints, and he have care for his elect, man. Okay, so the true, sincere, hopeful elect is going to have that faith, that trust, that belief in Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, man. In, in the whole doctrine, man, you're not going to be offended by rape, prostitution, etc., man. Okay, because the, the predestined uh, a lot is going to have all belief and trust and hope and fear. And Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, man? Point blank, period, man. But let's keep on going. Let's go to 2 Timothy. Let's go to 2 Timothy. Because this, this is what the true, sincere, hopeful elect do, man. Daily. All right, this is 2 Timothy chapter 2. And we're going to read verse 10 straight to the point. Therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may, ob may also obtain the salvation. Therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may also obtain the salvation which is in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, with eternal glory, man. So we are doing, we are doing all this affliction, putting up our bodies as a living sacrifice, out here edifying Israel constantly, man, putting lessons up every day, man, okay? Whether it be one lesson, two lessons, three lessons, however, how, how, however, how many it be, man, we always edifying Israel, man. We always out there in the highways and the byways, whether it be cold, rain, sleep, snow, hell, whatever, man. Okay, we ain't doing all this for the elect sake, man. Okay, we know we on that red list, man. When, when uh, this this cave monkey, this cave gorilla Esau Edom is gonna come down with that hardcore wrath, man. When he's gonna bring forth that sword, man. But we endure it, man. Okay, we endure it, man, because we love and fear Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man, and we hope to be of that predest predestinated lot, man. Okay, so let's keep on going. Let's go to Sirach, Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach. Chapter 17, and we're getting straight to the points, Israel. We're going to start off at verse 9. It's so, like so uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter 17. We're going to start off at verse 8, but the point is in verse 10. He set his eyes upon their hearts. <coughs> Ecclesiastic, Ecclesiastic, Ecclesiasticus chapter 17, starting off at verse 8. He set his eyes upon their hearts, that he, that he might show them the greatness of his works. He gave them to glory in his marvelous acts forever, that they might declare his works with understanding. Do you hear that? He gave them to glory in his marvelous acts forever, that they might declare his works with understanding. 
and the elect shall praise his holy name, man. Okay, bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> you don't like that? Oh well, nigga. I'm a tort. We, we, look, man, we, we, med we meditate uh, uh, torment, man. Okay, point blank period, man. And let's, let's keep on going, man. Let's keep on going. Let's go to Mark. Let's go to good old Mark. It's a lot. Mark chapter 13, and we, we're getting straight to the points. Mark chapter 13, verses 19 to 20. Mark chapter 13, verses 19 to 20. For in those days shall be affliction, such as was not from the beginning of the creation, which the Most High created unto this time, neither shall be. And except that Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, had shortened those days, no flesh should be saved. But, but for the elect's sake, whom he have chosen, he have shortened the days, man. So these days are being shortened for the elect's sake, man. Point blank period, man. So let's close it out right here. This is why, this is one of the main reasons why you don't have the understanding, man. This is one of the main reasons why you're offended by Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Second Edris. One of my favorites, man. This also proves that, 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 that only the elect is going to understand the doctrine 144%. All right, this is Second Edris, chapter 14. Starting off at verse 44, the point is going to be in 47. In 40 days, they wrote 204 books, and it came to pass when the 40 days were fulfilled that the highest spake, saying, The first that thou hast written, published openly, that the worthy and unworthy may read it. But keep the seventy last, that thou mayest deliver them only to such as be wise among the people. Now here's the point. For in them is the spring of understanding, the fountain of wisdom, and the stream of knowledge. And who is that? The elect, man. Okay? So if you offended, you offended in Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? If you ain't gonna take the sweet with the bitter and digest it all together, then this ain't for you, man. This ain't for you, man. Stop being butthurt. Stop having that estrogen in you, man. Be a man. Show yourself a man. Okay? Because we ain't got time for that, man. We all It's all about the elect, man. Okay? We out here warning, warning and edifying the elect, man. Okay? We ain't got, we ain't got time for, uh, uh, for um, simps, man. Okay? For, for beta males, man. We, we men over here. So, man, I don't want to rock this out, man. This is edifying. I pray that this is edifying. So, you know, uh, to my true, sincere, Akiem, Wa Akwa, I love y'all. And with that, I'm just going to say, Shalom.